uh, because they are interrelated. I'm going to speak about contemporary standards of treatment. I will talk about what we have in our hands and what approaches we exercise. So first of all, it's combined approach based upon the clinical guidelines of RF. We have a patient in the middle and uh, we have um, opportunity for surgical treatment if it is applicable, then grading and the staging, and then we have radiotherapy, targeted therapy in combination. We look into it and come embolization of the tumor vessels, which is also part of the treatment standards. Also, immune oncology is uh, one of our golden standards today. We also based upon the practical guidelines of from several specialists, guidelines from different uh, institutions, both uh, Russian and uh, the ones from abroad. First and foremost is in staging and the uh, resectability of the tumor. This is what we assess and then we do chemo radiation therapy or radiation uh, radiotherapy. If it is a non-resectable case in T3 and above, then patients also are viewed at a concilium and we plan treatment further. So cryo-instruction, reconstructive plastic surgery, laser um, dissection, video endoscopic surgery, lymphadenectomy, and also chemoembolization. This is what we do. What can we say about our patients' HPV positives uh, of the uh, oral cavities? So, first of all, this is uh, radio uh, treatment, radiation treatment, alongside with surgery and uh, concurrent chemotherapy and biological therapy. Surgery can be uh, robotic surgery, endoscopic uh, resection, also it can be classical transoral and also external approach, I mean from the neck, from the side of the neck. Now, uh, for the first time, uh, TORS was um, actually um, described in back in 2005 in uh, dogs. For the first time, it was published and uh, as a matter of fact, it's an interesting, a very interesting uh, article. And then FDA approved transoral robotic surgery for uh, oral and uh, throat cavities. So the Da Vinci robot assisted excision of um, uh, the, this is one of the publications here. The counterindication is stage four, uh, inoperable metastatic uh, lymph nodes, uh, which uh, grow into the main vessels, then um, remote metastasis, uh, and then also um, extension into the soft tissues and vessels. Then uh, treatment can be different. For example, this patient, uh, it has combined treatment with chemo, uh, it's uh, chemo irradiation, target therapy, crow surgery, and uh, surgical uh, treatment. After seven years, uh, the patient lives without any signs of relapse or remote metastasis. Another uh, big, uh, large, open surgery, laryngectomy. You can see that prosthetics uh, and uh, plastic surgery will be needed further, and as well as the vocal rehabilitation. This is another patient with uh, advanced uh, cancer. Combined treatment actually uh, was needed for, uh, and also there was progression and uh, growth into soft adjacent soft tissue and main vessels. Uh, unilateral surgery was uh, in block resection and. Uh, Further on, there was a restorative surgery with microsurgical plastic uh, surgery and anastomosis formation in order to restore the defect with a uh, um, lean a small bowl, bowl um, flap. So this is endoscopy, laser uh, resection of the tumor, as well as the um, CO2 laser was used. Uh, this is one of the developing uh, directions nowadays, which is part of our armory, and uh, we uh, do use it in our center. So this is another direction. Uh, this is uh, radiation therapy, as a matter of fact, but it also includes surgical component. The patient has endostates for brachytherapy of the tongue, and then this is a good alternative for the 
resection gamelectomy. Uh, this is uh, a good effect, and uh, the patient uh, continues living without uh, relapses. This is squam cell of the. Um, um, this, uh, this is a squam, a squam cell carcinoma of the ocular area. You can see that there was a removal of the frontal defects as well as the uh, part of the ocular uh, cavity and the frontal uh, cavity as well. You can see also that uh, further on there was rehabilitation and there was an exoprosthesis done. Uh, not all the patients undergo surgical treatment. There, are, there is a number of patients uh, where we have good systemic chemotherapy effects and chemoradiation therapy. You can see a patient here with quite a big uh, uh, process, uh, quite uh, uh, extensive. Uh, the tumor was soft tissue, localized in the soft tissue, and uh, you can see that the patient actually refused from the surgical uh, treatment and the chemoradiation therapy uh, needed to be resorted to. So the patient uh, traveled long, dis long distance at the moment. We communicate with the pa patient um, for five years. He's, uh, he has a remission and we continue follow up by mail. Now, this is another uh, case. A patient uh, came over after and before comes over uh, after and before, and uh, the patient needs symptomatic treatment. Uh, tracheostomy is something that we uh, take decision on. Targeted therapy. Uh, targeted therapy is another type of treatment, which, again, uh, is uh, part of our armory, and this is the only, the only drug that can impact the receptors is uh, tetuximab, in patients with EGFTR uh, mutation. Now here you can see uh, extreme uh, regimen and also TP extreme. This is doxetaxel uh, added to ciximab. And uh, the first line was actually used and the second line was inhibitors of control of target uh, points and the uh, median of survival is 21.9 percent. And you can see that in these patients, uh, doxydexel added to the regimen uh, gives us a significant improvement of survival. Immuno-oncology is used uh, in these patients with uh, pembrolizumab and uh, nev nevolizumab. These patients have quite good uh, survival, approximately 26 percent. Now you can see the uh, medications which I talk about is uh, not many, so we don't have a lot of uh, sort of uh, weapons in our armory. We have the first and the second line of therapy. Of course, this is quite sparse for our patients with head and neck tumors, but we have the targeted and the immune oncology medication which allows us to provide our patients with good remission. If we speak about the CCM guidelines, we uh, can apply cetuximab uh, in combination with cetuximab uh, and immune therapy, first line, it's pepronizumab and cisplatin with carbamplatin, first category, and uh, pepronizumab with PDL expression and CP, as you can see here. Here, uh, it's over one and immunotherapy is second line. In conclusion, I would like to say that this particular category of patients is utterly difficult to treat. And if a patient comes to an oncologist specializing in head and neck, and the specialist actually sees problems if they are results before treatment, then the uh, results of treatment will be much better. Because if we have streeters or uh, dysphagia, problems with swallowing. So the problems which are not resolved in the pre-hospital stage, they um, uh, they actually result in wasted time for